Good morning, happy Monday. Dr. Eric Klajinski here, Fanwood Back Relief Center. Today we're gonna to talk about carpal tunnel syndrome as a cumulative trauma disorder. Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when the mobility of the median nerve is constricted or compromised as it passes through the wrist and the hand. In here we have tendons, we have ligaments, we have nerves, we have blood vessels. And what happens is through repetitive use, these tendons get inflamed and the inflammation tend to irritate the median nerve that travels through it, runs through the thumb, this finger, and half of this finger, and it can cause sensations of pain in the wrist, hand, or fingers. It can cause numbness, tingling, and weakness. Uh, the more you use that, those hands for uh, small repetitive details, um, what happens is the chronic use causes chronic stress, causes chronic inflammation and the best thing you can do is rest. Now obviously, if, if what you're using your hands for is for your job, or something you love to do, a hobby, or something of the sort, um, then it's difficult to, to get the rest needed to for those areas to heal. So what I do as a chiropractor, I make sure that the joints mobilize properly, make sure it's in good alignment. There's also a ton of soft tissue techniques we can do both with our hands, with instruments. Uh, there's treatments like laser therapy, uh, ultrasound, uh, electrical stimulation, acupuncture, um, the list goes on and on and on uh, to help reduce the inflammation. Uh, once we get the inflammation down, it's important that we're keeping the area mobilized by stretching and strong by exercise, making sure that those, those tendons, those muscles can, um, can stand up to the amount of rigor you're putting through with the activities you're doing. Um, so a few different points. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that those tendons can glide uh, smoothly throughout the carpal tunnel. We try to avoid repetitive motions or take frequent breaks as much as we can. Uh, the rest is important. Also, if it's really severe, uh, I recommend that while you're sleeping that you get a splint that you can wear. It's called a cock up splint. It brings your wrist into a little bit of extension and helps to just kind of take pressure off and traction that area a little bit. Um, but the number one goal is reducing inflammation and restoring normal motion if there's lost motion. Uh, and then making the necessary modifications to your job, your work, or your hobbies, whatever's causing that repetitive stress. There are also some dietary uh, uh, recommendations as well as um, vitamins, minerals that you can take that are helpful that as well. If you would like to list those um, based on your specific condition, just shoot me a message. Uh, and I'll be able to help you and assist you with that. But if you are suffering with carpal tunnel syndrome, well, the first thing we do is not only check the wrist, but we check the elbow, the shoulder, the neck, make sure the whole area is, um, is functioning properly, is in the right alignment, um, and help to, again, bring down that stress and the inflammation on the joints. Uh, any questions about this, uh, feel free to ask. Any questions about anything else on our website at fanwoodbackrelief.com. Shoot me a message, give us a call, and we're happy to help. Have a great day, enjoy the great weather.